Hello everyone, welcome to Zomo Talk Show. Today we have another session of Zomo Talk Show. We have special guests with us. Uh, first of all, Drea, all the way from Florida. Hey guys, how are you? Drea is from DMZ TV. She's one of the hosts at DMZ TV. And we have another guest, special guest, and a friend, Mr. Sarkis from Hook and Bias and Isis Hook Lounge. Welcome everyone. How's it going guys? Welcome to the Zomo live talk show. <laughs> so we're here chilling after we just had uh, pizza uh, with, the, with the team here and we're all smoking Zomo. I'm smoking uh, Wild Africa. Drea, what are you smoking? I am smoking the Havana style because of course as you guys know I'm Cuban so <laughs> thank cool. you for that. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. I gotta apologize for being on the on the phone. I'm trying to see if we get any comments over here so that we could actually interact with you guys. But to answer the question, I'm I'm smoking a blend. You guys know me for that. You know, I, you guys know I like to mix flavors. I'm doing Zomo strong lemon with strong orange, and I put in a little bit of Zomo strong mint because it's actually a very powerful mint and one that I enjoy a lot. With uh. I mean, I'm sure you guys are probably bored of us. We've been doing talk show for the last few days. We had a talk show um, on Friday with uh, DMZ as well. The Mr. Dutch, uh, he's now back uh, to his studio. And uh, today, Dutchie? another talk show. What's up, Dutch? And I want to say, what's up, Steve and Marshall? I have the phone, guys, so I see who's, okay, who's commenting. This is Steven. How's it going, brother? Welcome to the show. So what are you guys uh, smoking? Uh, tell us what are you smoking, if you got off work yet or not, if you're s still at work, uh, what are your plans tonight, what are you guys going to smoke? Uh, tell us, uh, tell us your, your, uh, your smoking session tonight. Your pre-Halloween smoking session, right? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have our masks today, so uh, we'll leave those for Tuesday. I think, yeah, uh, th tomorrow I, th is I think tomorrow is the day for masks. Um, but uh, you know, people aren't really uh, talking so much right now. But we have a few viewers. Welcome to the to the talk show, guys. Hey guys. I want you guys to actually inter interact with us and actually talk to us and ask questions. We got Drea from all the way from Miami of DMZ TV in the house right here in Los Angeles. Well, technically right here in the OC. So you know, we're hoping uh, we get some questions. Stephen Marshall commented, "Thank you for that." He's saying, "I'm smoking Headquarters Double uh, Apple and Custard Mix." Uh, smoked some Zomo Strong Mint yesterday. That's really good, brother. Uh, Malcolm Davis, welcome to the show. Uh, we have, uh, look, you guys don't know this, but Dre actually loves Double Apple. Yes, and I do. So, so, so the question here is, how does it really mix with custard? How do you, how do you take, how's that take, how's your take on it? Uh, <laughs> I saw Malcolm's comment. I'm not going to even say anything on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm flattered, um, but um, but uh, yeah, Jay loves double apples. So uh, Stephen, if you could tell us how it mixes with custard, I mean that would be an interesting mix, don't you think? Like a double apple with it would be almost like a double apple with a little bit of anise flavor and like a pie type of thing, like a yeah. like a custard pie thing. I don't know. It's very very interesting, uh, definitely. Uh, Rafaela Gomez in the house. Hello, Rafaela. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Okay, so my mix of the lemon orange and the strong mint, it's going great. You guys can see what um, Zomo Strong is capable of in an Apache medium with a Provost setup. And these are the clouds you guys have been seeing. Show us, show us. Look at that. So you, you guys all know Sarkis with his big clouds. <laughs> but you guys also know that I'm all about having clouds, flavor, longevity, smoothness. I need it all, you know. And, and with the pack method, which I've actually revealed at Hookah Unbiased, um, and also Hookah Enthusiasts, um, you know, there's no throat hit. It's just wonderful. This, this product is, is actually pretty damn good tobacco. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it by now. It's been on the market for how long now? Is it? It's been five months now. It's been five months. So We're approaching half a year. We, we've uh, quadrupled our view viewers already. That's uh, good. Ron Dule, Jeremy, welcome. Uh, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you guys doing? CJ, what's up, brother? How's it going, man? Have you tried CJ, uh, have you tried uh, Zomo yet, bro? I know you're a big Tangiers guy, so I'm very curious. Uh, but until we get to your question, Stephen Marshall uh, responded. 
Hey, Patricia, how you doing, sweetheart? Hey, uh, honey. <laughs> um, and uh, he said, double apple and custard mix very well. I would definitely recommend it. It's like a dessert, and it has a great aftertaste. The anise is a great part of it. makes it really smooth. That's kind of like what I just said. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... Uh, so we got more people. We got Arby in the house watching us here. Hello, Arby. <laughs> Sorry we missed you yesterday, but uh, I'm sure you guys had a good time with Drea and uh, Sarkis and Maz. Yeah, we did. We did. We had a we had a <laughs> we had an awesome time. So Drea's awesome. been here for the weekend, and I think she's. Uh, are you flying tonight? I'm flying tonight. Um, I'm leaving in about two hours or so. But okay. I've had a blast. LA is beautiful. Uh, the mountains. We don't have mountains in Florida. We have hills, but we don't have any mountains. So uh, I might stay. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed your weekend. I we did. want you to stay longer, but I guess you have to go back to work, right? Yeah, I, I actually work. <laughs> she actually does work. <laughs> she has a job, a real job. But I'm coming back. I'm coming back because I had a blast with these guys. They're a trip. I've had an amazing time, so thank you. Thank you, guys. So who did you meet with from the community? Tell us, who did you meet? Um, well, you guys, and okay. I met Other Neve. than us, <laughs> because, obviously. Uh, right. And Neve, Neve and Ron, Mwah! special. And even Ron and um, Arby, I met with Arby. I, we were at Mirage as well. Yeah, we went to, uh, to Mirage. So thank you, Omar, for hooking us up. It was an amazing night. I had a great time. Well, I heard you guys. I mean, I was there until one o'clock, and then I you know. guys. I heard you guys <laughs> stayed until like three o'clock. <laughs> until like three o'clock. Na party Nasser, animals. Nasser, uh, David Kaikendal is saying great job with the lemon. Very Thank unique. you. Thank you. Uh, Keep those uh, comments. Uh, Guys, we want to hear your feedback on any of the flavors, whether you like well, it or you we don't. We have a question, I think, for, for Nasser. Can you guys talk about the rumored Spade Mini? Any well, info about it? I think all we can say about it right now is that the colors are going to be amazing and very unique. Uh, I've seen them. So has Drea. They're right here, actually. Well, Drea, she actually saw the Spade Mini. <laughs> I think she's... Looking at it right there, <laughs> that, that, that mini color. You know. But uh, but uh, we could also say that uh, it's going to be called a Spade Junior because it's not quite a mini. They're we're going to work on an actual mini as well. Right. So, so. we do have some uh, another one in the works as well. Uh, hopefully, we release that one in January at the TPE show. So we have uh, a, a mini Spade and a Junior Spade. So look for those two new products. Very uh, exciting. Very exciting. All right, guys. So right now, uh, some uh, some of this is it, uh, CJ is asking: Is it blonde or black? Uh, CJ, the the strong line, the labeled strong, like mint strong, orange strong, lemon strong, Melon. pineapple or pine strong, blue. You know, they have a bunch of flavors. Strong passion. Those specific ones are are dark leaf. But then they right now also have the introduction of the world. What is it called? The world, world experience. The world experience series, and and that is blonde leaf. But it's a strong blonde leaf. It's not your typical. It's not going to be like Fumari or Starbuzz or or something you might be familiar with for blonde leaf. It's actually very like you you feel it and and, and you enjoy it. It's satisfact. It it satisfies you. It's not like weak in that sense. Uh, so I hope that answers. Ronald Farah is in the house. What's up, hey, VHL? Ronald, Ronald, sorry we missed you yesterday again. <laughs> but you saw the guys, so uh, I'm sure you guys had a good time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Beautiful lounge. So where else? Uh, is, uh, Drea is smoking out of the Zahra Z41 Glasuka. I hope you're enjoying that uh, I am. You can session. even hear it. It's, the draw is beautiful. So. Ron, Ronald says, uh, love you guys. We love you too. Love you, Ron. Mostly Drea. I love you guys, and I'm, I'm taking knees. I don't want the viewers to think anything. I love you too, bro. <laughs> 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 I, I love Neve just a little bit more, though. <laughs> so I'm a taker. <laughs> you can have Neve, I'll take Ron. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> it's a win win. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely been a great time. I'm kind of sad that I have to leave already. Um, my next trip will be a little bit longer, I promise. I well, just yeah. I, I just had to come for the weekend at least to meet That's you guys. what Dutch said also. Uh, he told me yesterday that he wanted to stay longer, but he has to go back to work. So hopefully we'll see you guys next time for a longer period of time. Definitely, definitely. Uh, We're going to be visiting loves, you too, though. 
Neve loves way, you guys. You if we could uh, pause for a second, just attend to some of the questions. Neve loves you guys too. Uh, Ronald is uh, saying that uh, he was told about a Zomolan that has no menthol in it. We are working on multiple flavors. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of flavors in the works, so you're gonna see more and more flavors. Uh, some with men menthol and some without. So, is there any chance of a green and purple spade coming up? Green and purple. Uh, green is not a popular color. I mean, even though we have the Rasta spade here, but uh, we notice people don't like green. But uh, we'll uh, we'll look into it. So. Purple. Uh, I'm not sure about purple. Uh, Stephen, the the spade me, uh, spade junior colors are actually very attractive, and I can't. I don't think I'm 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 able to speak on the colors. I'm being real with you, but you're going to be impressed by them. I promise you. Can I can I say the colors? Some of the colors that we've seen so far. Yeah, you can talk okay. about the penny. There, there's uh, there's a color called penny, which is like a nice rustic copper color. It's it's phenomenal. And there's another color that I'm seeing. The gray is. The, it's. It, I wouldn't call that gray. That's yeah. like a deep platinum. It's amazing. So, so I'm very impressed. Um, Sarkis, uh, I'd love to get a spade junior. It's. Uh, let me call, clarify again, guys. This the model coming out is going to be called the spade junior, not the spade mini. They are working on an actual mini model. Okay, uh, but this junior is about half the size of. Of the spade, it stops around here. If you guys can see that, um, uh, I got a HEW from I don't know uh, a regular size uh, uh, spade that I got from HEW from Nasser is, is incredible. I love all green and gold. Um, all, all green and gold. Um, you just said the green is not popular, but you have two people asking for something with green. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, from, from experience with Zahra, I mean, we had green hookahs before in the past, and they really didn't sell very well. Um, for some reason, the green color is not popular. I'm sure some people like green, so yeah. uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, all those colors very uh, complement each other very well. Very, very well. Um, Stephen is saying, uh, yeah, I'm using my red spade right now, one of my go-to hookahs, love the draw and the price point. You know, you know, Stephen, wasn't that the whole uh, thing that we were talking about, like, for, ever since the launch of the spade, which was late a year ago? Uh, almost a year. I think we introduced it in, oh, yeah, November. Yeah. So, it was a year ago. And, uh, and 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 there was a lot of flack about uh, about it. I remember that, and I was one of the people defending the spade because because of its price point. For what you get at this price point, the it beats out any hookah uh, at any price lower and up to like about forty dollars, fifty dollars above it. So uh, this the spade is something special, and I'll say it again. I have no problem saying that. Uh, you know, just just the fact that you have a CNC machine heart. Uh, complete uh, metal body you know it's it just put together so nice and you guys know I use them at the lounge and uh, in I was one of the first, I got I got it in I October got, yeah. I got it October. this time I got it in the I got them in the Halloween party at the ugly Halloween yeah, we party actually yeah end you, of October beginning of November yeah so. so it was a Halloween party at my lounge and I got a bunch of space from Nasser and I have used them for exactly one year, and let me tell you, at lounge use, not only have they been uh, requested uh, consistently and consecutively, everybody who smokes from them, they keep asking it more and more every time they come back, but uh, there's been absolutely nothing wrong with them as far as any issues regarding, and I'm going to say things that they, they want to hear, they, they're concerned about this. There has been no rust, there has been no discoloration, uh, you know, there's been a little bit of uh, paint chipping right at the tip, but you know what, guys? The bowl covers it, and nobody at my lounge ever notices it because the hookah is so beautiful looking that nobody even cares about those things. Not even my customers. Nobody's going around like, oh my god, I want a new hookah. No, they're like, I want this hookah because it smokes so well. So, kudos to, to, to the design team, uh, Zara, and, and it really is an impressive hookah for what you get. We're getting some more questions. Wow, we're, we're so very know, popular this, today. This session turning into Zara. I know we're going to talk about Zomo, but uh, <laughs> I think everybody is interested uh, so in far, Zara. So far, 
Right. Uh, well, we have some questions. Uh, so far, uh, Zomo offers 50 gram packets. Any plans for 100 grams or um, I, or especially 250 grams? Yes. So we are going to be introducing uh, new packages uh, in January. So we have, I believe it's 200 gram or 250. Uh, uh, it's going to be in a pouch. So just for you guys know, if you have opinion about the packaging, send us what you'd like to see in the packaging. Uh, uh, right now, so far, uh, we have it uh, designed in a pouch. Yes, please leave us your comments. Let us know. So, which so they're theme. considering designing in a pouch style, and uh, uh, I've seen these pouches, the potential ones. They will sit flush on the ground, so it won't be like some of the packets you see that fall over. And it's hard to you could put them on a tabletop or a countertop, and they won't tip over. The base is big enough for that. Uh, Dre, I want you to smoke the strong lemon and uh, orange with the strong mint just so people could see the clouds you're getting so that nobody thinks it's just me <laughs> uh, Isam uh, Abdel Latif is saying amazing product hello Nasser hello Isam uh, Zach Reese Pinto Batosai Rurouni Kenshin uh, how you doing uh, <laughs> it's good let me see the clouds I missed it <laughs> show, show us your big clouds now. She probably doesn't have the same clouds as Sarkis, but <laughs> she doesn't have those lungs. You know? I don't have the lungs yet. <laughs> I got baby lungs. But, you know, still, those were amazing clouds. You know? yeah, Zachary were. says that he needs kilos of Zomo Black. Please. Yeah, sure. We will be doing kilos. I'm not sure when, but... Uh, Again, uh, you know, the 50 grams uh, is available now, but uh, kilos probably will be something that we will consider in the future. We do have, Big you know, lounges is asking us um, about, you know, kilos as well. You know, we have almost what, you know, uh, maybe six, seven lounges are serving Zomo now. Um, so, and those lounges, you know, start asking us for more because they start selling more. Zombies. We have them so at we have them at my lounge as well. So Sarkis yeah. have them at ISIS lounge. Uh, we in know. Pasadena. And if you want to know where you to smoke Zomo, uh, um, check out the Zomo USA site. Uh, there's a lot of information about where to smoke, what's going on. Read the blogs <coughs> about Zomo. <coughs> and, uh, Excuse me, guys. And uh, find out where you can find Zomo to purchase online or out uh, or on retail shops. Okay. So yeah, my uh, my wild Africa. Sammy saying, "Ha, you're wearing a suit, Sarkis." <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Sarkis uh, came dressed up today uh, <laughs> without his uh, normal, unusual clothes. He's actually wearing a nice <laughs> coat here. Uh, I was actually impressed Sharp. with his uh, <laughs> with his look today. He looks uh, more decent. <laughs> Sorry, Sarkis, but. Uh, People, I guess, uh, are bored of your uh, everyday clothes. <laughs> uh, they're not everyday clothes. Uh, they're, 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 they're what we wear at the lounge, a black okay. uh, long sleeve uh, uh, button up. Well, uh, today was a special day jeans. for him. So, uh, you know, he has to look uh, nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you were, uh, you went somewhere before you came here or just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to just be in that, that. You, you know me, you know me now, so I would I just the same, I don't care where I'm at. I could I could be at like a celebrity party, I'll be wearing my black shirt, my beanie and my jeans. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's true guys. I, let them dress for me. So, Dre, tell, tell us tell us uh, more about uh, DMZ TV. I know you guys have been doing a lot of reviews on Zomos and a lot of videos. Uh, tell us. Um, well, DMZ started with the hookahs about a year and a half ago. That's when we really started diving into like the hookah industry. Um, we do reviews for different you know, tobaccos and the uh, different uh, hookahs and stuff like that. And it's amazing. We've met amazing people. Um, it's been a, definitely a, a, a great experience. Um, Dutchy, Dutch, he is the creative mastermind behind this. Um, I'm just one of the hosts, but y'all get to see my pretty face a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody can. Well, I know you guys, uh, Dutch, when, when he was here, uh, we talked a lot of uh, 
a lot of things about the upcoming projects. So you're going to see some exciting videos from uh, Dutch uh, in the near future. Yeah, and I you guess. guys are coming next month. Well, I gave him, I sent him a whole list of things that he's going to work on. So you guys are going to be we're gonna really be busy. busy. That means no sleep, but that's okay because we're bringing it to you, and that's fine with us. So. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> Daniel Partridge is saying, I'm waiting with bated breath for the kingdom I won uh, from a contest. Looking forward to the release of those stems. Can't find strong red anywhere. What's that one like? A hiya to all three of you. How are things? Well, uh, Daniel, I know uh, you posted one of your uh, pictures with the costume. We need everyone else uh, who's going to be wearing costume tomorrow night. Uh, we have a contest at Zomo here, so if you uh, give us a chance, or give yourself a chance, uh, take a picture of yourself with the custom and the hookah, and post it, uh, hashtag, Zomo, hashtag treat. Zomo Treat, and you may have a chance to, to win also a nice gift basket from Zomo. When's the cutoff tomorrow, right? Uh, the cutoff is tomorrow night, yes. Okay. So uh, Get them in, guys, get them so in. So get your costume ready. Um, <laughs> Be prepared, you will have a chance to win more Zomo flavors. Absolutely. Yeah, I haven't tried the Havana style and I'm really digging it. The the lime is coming out. Good, really, good. Really, really digging it. You guys did a nice job with that being Cuban. I commend you. So, <laughs> you got the Cuban seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Cuban approval. <laughs> um, to address the strong red, uh, it's unreleased. It's not. Yeah, this, uh, the Strong Red is an unreleased product. Yeah, it's an unreleased product, so it's not available in on the USA. Market. In the USA. Yeah, so. uh, and, and, and these guys here are the exclusive distributors to Zomo, so they're bringing all these things in. You know, you know, you've seen people review them, you've seen people talk about them. Uh, apparently, what they're doing is they're gathering uh, opinions and reviews so that they could decide whether it's worth bringing it in or whether it's not worth bringing in because you know what I love about what, what, what they're doing is that they're being very selective and they want only the best for the American market because America. Yes, so <laughs> again, we want to hear your opinion, your feedback. Uh, you know, Zomo has a lot of flavors and, and pretty much they have the capability of doing any flavors you guys want. So just put your comments, tell us what you want to see from Zomo. We can do the mixes, we can try them. We can experience with it, and uh, if you guys, you know, have feedback, put it in, and uh, let's, let's hear it from you. How about a strawberry shortcake? Something along those lines. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we can do uh, whatever flavor like uh, uh, you guys want, but uh, we have to test it and try it and see what people think about it. So. Absolutely. Zomo is. <clears throat> For you, for you guys who don't know who Zomo, Zomo has, I would say, uh, one of the one of the best factories that manufacture hook tobacco. It's fully automated. It's uh, made in Paraguay. Uh, the factory is, you know, using the latest and greatest uh, manufacturing process to manufacture tobacco. Uh, you probably, you know, gonna see more and more from Zomo. So. I can't wait. More flavors. Yeah, I'm excited. Because you guys have not disappointed me so far. Have not. The World Experience line, I've, I've enjoyed quite a bit. The Miami Nice was awesome. Um, my favorite is the two apple <laughs> mixed, with, mixed with the strong melon. Those two together, please try it. Think of Drea. I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. That's funny you say that because double apple melon is a very old school mix from back in the day. <laughs> uh, really? so, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> that was just me playing yeah, around. That's something people got so, like 15 years ago. That's uh, crazy. For those who like uh, classic flavors, we are bringing some of the flat, classic flavors like the two apples, the watermelon mint, and the straight mint, and the lemon mint. So those are coming. Uh, we're just, just going to select a few of the popular flavors or classic flavors, but uh, they will be available uh, soon. We just put uh, the order in, so hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be in here. Nice. Uh, any other questions, guys? We invite you guys to interact with us. The whole point of this uh, Zomo talk show, and not just this particular one, guys, but all of them in the future, 
is that you know, we get interaction. So hopefully we get some more um, feedback from you guys, some questions. Um, uh, Pinto, Batosai, uh, Cheyenne said, uh, oh, Sean, Sean is here. Um, uh, how's it going, brother? <laughs> I miss hey, your Sean. face, man. I really do. I can't wait till TPE. I don't know if you're going to be at the hookah fair, but I want to see you. Uh, you know, I love you, man. Nothing but love for you and the hookah shisha team. Um, I want to say that. Uh, Julia, welcome in. Uh, Chanel uh, is saying that I look great. Thank you very much. I think I look pretty good. Um, uh, DMZ is a team led by Mr. Dutch. Uh, Ronald is saying that. And Shahan said Taj Mahal. That's it. It was very ominous. Well, I think Shayan made, uh, <laughs> made the review. You guys go check it out. Taj Mahal will be available also soon, so it's not. Well, I did that yet. with him, but. Yeah, <laughs> go check out Cheyenne's video, guys. It's actually awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Cheyenne. Thumbs up. Yeah, it was great working with you. Well, I think three Cheyenne is saying yeah. that, that you guys uh, should consider bringing a blonde leaf mango flavor. Not a dark variant, not a strong grain with maybe the mint in it mm. or the menthol in it, but rather uh, a, a, a specific blonde leaf, just mango. I, and I actually agree. I think I think uh, the world needs a good mango. I can't think of a good mango. Yeah. And the flavoring that Zomo uses is delicious. Um, That's the idea. Hello, Jefferson Dos Santos Gonzalez. How you doing? Did I say that right? Did I say that pretty well? Gonzalo? Yeah. Oh, okay. You did? Ah, mira pa' eso. He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's teaching him now Spanish, so pretty soon uh, Sarkis is going to have a life, a life session with, uh, with his Spanish Me llamo speaking. Sarkis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you've been Well, tell us something in Spanish then, uh, maybe... Uh, uh, for those who maybe Para todos que están viendo, muchas gracias por todo el soporte. Nosotros estamos muy agradecidos por todo el amor. Besitos para todos. Sí. The see world can see, see her yeah. Cuban accent. <laughs> yeah. So she actually can't speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah I can. <laughs> I'm not a big Cuban. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> muchas gracias, de vera. And hello people. And for sure the blind mango the flavor to use is delicious. And that's actually uh, about it, guys. I think we can go ahead and wrap up uh, today's Yeah, I think we can video. wrap it up. I think Drea has I to catch the plane and uh, <laughs> Circus has to give her a ride to the airport. So, yeah. so I guess we can cut it off right there. Again, thank you very much for watching today. Thank today you, guys. Session, and see you next time. Thanks.